All right, MMA fans, I'm here with Eduardo Cagliazza. Eduardo, how are you today? I'm good, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, so can you please tell us why are you here in San Diego, California, so far away from your, from your home uh, in Italy? I've been selected uh, for MMA Fight Academy by the president, Graham Boylan, and I'm here for a training camp for Fight T6 May in Rome for the winning a Cage Warrior contract. And your, of course, this your training camp is also sponsored by Mola TV. Yes. Um, Mola is investing big time uh, in Italy. You were, you know, one of the fighters who uh, have followed the Italian scene very well. How how much do you think is important that uh, a reality like uh, Mola TV is investing uh, in Italy right now in the Italian MMA scene? It's really important because can maybe make uh, Italian people explore the MMA world. What this sport is real, it's not only violence, but it's uh, be a team, uh, discipline, prepare for a fight, sacrifice, everything. So it's not only violence, but there is a world behind the fights. You're coming off uh, a magnificent victory at Bellator Milan uh, last uh, last year. It was in uh, in October, October I yes. believe. Yes, last last October. What do you recall from that fight? Nothing. Just a big experience in a big stage. So it's prepared me for this biggest stage, Cage Warrior. Uh, I was really emotion emotional, invested in the fight with in Bellator, uh, but it's prepared me for be more calm and collected in this next fight, Cage Warrior. How was your camp? Now, right now you're scheduled to compete on May 6th. Uh, you're going to fight in Rome, uh, which is also the you know where your current team is, your Aurora MMA. Uh, but still, again, you had this opportunity to train in San Diego. How was your training camp in preparation for your next fight? Really nice, really uh, much in details. A lot of wrestling, a lot of grappling, uh, less striking. We work on details about Greco-Roman because Mark Fiore is uh, a Greco-Roman wrestler and teaches us uh, many secrets, secrets about uh, wrestling in MMA. But we work in, of, of, uh, in MMA, of course. Uh, it's all, everything is for MMA, grappling, wrestling for MMA. And uh, uh, Jake, Coach Jake, is a black belt from BJ Penn, so he teaches us uh, a lot of things about secrets in, in uh, moving, uh, grappling in MMA. So it's not because we adapt everything in for MMA. It's not just grappling, grappling for MMA, position, ground and pound, what is better to do, what is better not to do. So the camp was uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of details and with a lot of people from all over the world. Uh, in uh, many guys from UFC coming to train with us, many champions from Cage Warriors, so it's nice. How, you know, in your experience, in your opinion, what, what is the main difference between training in Italy and training in the United States? Um, before, you know, in the press conference uh, that just uh, wrapped up, uh, you said some very interesting things about, you know, the, the current situation in, in Italy for uh, professional fighters. Yeah, at the moment in Italy there is only for me one big team. It is uh, Aurora MMA. So every the best fighter in Italy are about in, is uh, in Rome uh, Aurora MMA. So if you train in the, the rest of Italy, you have to find something to do grappling, to do striking, to do wrestling. There is nobody to teach you to put all together. Now in the north there is Urban Arena, so we are also a big lever in MMA now. So and there is with uh, Aurora MMA. But in Italy already these two teams can help you to do MMA. The rest is only different things, grappling, striking, wrestling, so nobody do MMA for real. Here we have the coach who teach us MMA, not grappling, not striking, not wrestling, MMA. And we have uh, two big uh, facilities for training, for strength conditioning, striking, and for grappling, MMA, and uh, wrestling, the Studio 540. So we have uh, the coach who really know about MMA in Italy. Uh, the greatest, the, there is two great coach, Riccardo Garfagna and Lorenzo Borgone, Borgomeo, who knows real about MMA because Borgomeo was uh, the fighter, MMA fighter who lived in America for many years. And Riccardo Garfagna is a great coach who studied every day, every fighter, every aspect of MMA. So they are two coach who put all their life in MMA, not just do things just for do it or maybe they see some videos on YouTube teach you. He's a real coach. You also have quite an interesting back 
background story you know you uh, were training uh, MMA since you know as an amateur since you were a teenager but then uh, one day uh, I read you had uh, a brain hemorrhage what was going on uh, at that time can you please explain to yeah. us I started boxing at 10 at 16 I start MMA when I start my career I do my first four or five uh, MMA light contact and then at 17 I had this little brain hemorrhage who oh. put me they put me in inducted coma for see what happens and then one year after I had a surgery and take me away four years from competition. In fact, I make my amateur debut at 21 years old and my pro debut at 24. Uh, it was just a little vein who explode. I have a malformed vein when I was born and I didn't know that and it explode, explode after a, a tough training about uh, my blood, blood pressure and it's happened. I didn't know about that and it's happened but I'm good. Did it happen during training then? Yeah, Did it explode yeah. during training? After training, I just have a problem, uh, just uh, collapsed. Uh, I just had the problem. Okay. And uh, how was uh, at that at that point? You know, at that moment, how was your mentality? What did you think? What did you? Yeah. What did you think about your future as an amateur, as a professional fighter? And uh, do you, did you think that you would recover from that? At the beginning, no. At the beginning, I was, I was thinking I was done with MMA. Then I had a surgery uh, with the best surgery in, in the world, to be honest. And uh, they say, okay, you can fight. Just have patience for recover fully from the surgery, and you can go to fight. But I was not trusted at 100%. I was sometimes I was okay, come back. Sometimes no, I don't come back. Then I have the notice to say I'm okay. The, all the visits are good, and they say you can fight, and I come back to fight in, the, in four years. I always training every day, twice a day, with diet, everything, like like a fighter. But in the moment I was not fighting. But this is what helped me really in my career was these four years of training with discipline, with no no fights, just training, 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 and just helped me to stay focused. And now that I have a fight, I have really opportunities. This is just easy because I do this for nothing, and I do it for money, for fame, for fighting, for myself, for my family, for my team. This is not the first time you actually leave home, you know, in order to follow your dream and uh, as a professional MMA fighter. Um, you are coming from the northern part of Italy, you're coming from uh, Verbania, and then you moved uh, to, to Rome, which is quite far from the place uh, you're coming from. Uh, what was, uh, how come did, did you, yeah, did you choose to, to make that decision in your life? How come, uh, when did you manage, uh, sorry, when did you come up with uh, that decision? When you're in, a, in your life in a point where you don't grow and you are always the same, it's the moment you have to move for different things to become a better version of yourself as a person, as an athlete. When I was little, I moved to Dublin for eight months. I come back as a new athlete. I knew at the time after, sometimes I feeling like, okay, I don't grow in Alcamin, I need to go somewhere else. So the first time I go to Lecco for one year to train with Daniel Scatizzi, another team. Then I go and move to, uh, to Novara. I live in Novara too for some months alone in Lecco one year. And then I move to Rome. And it's the only way to be better is to search people which you can get better together and keep moving. Then of course, there is the moment when you find the right team, the right place where you can always grow up because there are always the best team, the best person, the best coach. Because it's important the, the people around you, the coach around you are good for you if you are not they're not good you can grow up you are the same ahead of your coming fight on may 6th what do you think about your next opponent and what do you think uh, how do you think your fight is going to to go down i think my opponent is a good opponent is a good fighter is a grappler uh, brown belt he fight in imaf is the complete world champion and uh, I think it's a good fight, it's going to be a hard fight because we are both young fighters, very motivated. We both go to the, he said in the interview, he want to go to the top like me, so it's going to be a tough fight. Like, a fight is a fight. I think it's a good on the ground, his wrestling is not, it's not bad, it's okay, but his striking is not, not really good. So Of course I'm going to put my game plan, who's fighting with my best style and go against his style, different takedowns and working by my game plan. And nothing, just give my best because I do a hard camp and I'm ready mentally and physically. And uh, my biggest challenge in my life, I always do it, is well, my surgery, the problem, the problem I have. So it's no problem to fight with nobody, so I can go and fight with him. And 
and see who is the best. My, I can't give prediction because it's going to be a tough one, but I will see myself winning this fight 100%. And in case of victory, you're also going to be rewarded with the Cage Warriors contract, right? Cage Warriors contract and a Mola sponsorship. So yes, and I can come back here for, uh, with a visa for training in America for one year. Oh, that's very yes, nice. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, thank Eduardo. You, Best you. of luck with thank your upcoming so fight and hopefully I'll hear again from you in the future. Thank you.